Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to change out a couple airbags. Um, I was out on the road last week. I had one um, I was doing my post trip walking around. Um, heard something leaking pretty bad and um, found out it was one of my airbags. It wasn't blown out, but it was leaking around the bottom pretty severely. I mean, it was draining. It drained the entire capacity of the truck in roughly five minutes. So it was pretty substantial, substantial leak. But I'll show you, I, just, I already changed one out here at the house. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. But um, I had to change that one out on the road. Uh, there was a Kenworth dealer. I was parked out at York, Nebraska. I was over at the Sat Brothers out there. So if you're ever out there and you need to park for a Kenworth or Peterbilt, there is a Kenworth dealer, like literally walking distance right down the street, which was kind of a lifesaver. But the bad part of that was um, that one airbag, uh, I didn't even ask the price because I needed it. I got down there and he gave me the bill and it was like $375 total. And I know the last airbags I put on uh, the Mack dump truck we had, I think I paid it down at a Truck Pro. I paid like $190, so it was almost double what I, I was kind of figured it would be two two fifty. dollars so it was, it was a pretty substantial price. Um, so I figured the rest of them were in about the same shape, so we'll go, I wanted to go ahead and change them out because um, I, I got a price them at my local Napa for $190 each um, there, so rough, almost half price of what Kenworth was getting out on, on, the, on the highway. So. Uh, I didn't want to run into blowing another one out, so if we will just get the other three and replace them right now. So they're pretty easy to change out. Um, but first, I'll show you what was wrong with the the other one that was leaking. These are probably seeping too. They get dry right around the bottom, and they will they'll eventually blow out. Then you're going to be screwed because you're going to sit be you're going to lose all the air in your suspension, and then your only choice at that point is to shut off the suspension you know when you're going to be riding on on the ground basically or if in a severe case what you can do if you're in an emergency um, and you're losing all your air you can take the what like if this bag blew you could unhook these lines and just fold them over and kind of kink them and put a zip tie around them and uh, I mean, you can damage the line. I don't like to do that, but you know, if I'm stuck it on the road somewhere, losing all my air pressure, and you know, that's, that'd probably be what I would do. At least that'd get you to where you need to go, to where you can replace it. But, um, so with that, we'll go ahead and get right into it. Um, this is one of the new ones that I got, so you can kind of kind of see the difference. I mean, in, in the condition. So I mean, if they're getting like this, I would replace it before it blows. So, but. Um, First thing we're going to do is go ahead and take the uh, airlines off of this. So this particular one uses 5 8 wrench. So let's get that loose. And sometimes these are going to be a little stubborn, so you have to work them a little bit. But there is a little brass or a little steel fitting in there, you want to be careful not to, to bend that or damage that. And on some of these, depending on your truck, if you got a bunch of lines coming off of it, you might want to take a picture of it or kind of mark them so you know where they go. I mean, this one's pretty cut and dry, they really can't go any other way. But um, you want to pay attention how that's positioned or indexed because you're going to have to put it back on in the same way. And I would recommend going ahead and taking this fitting off now before you unbolt everything because if you if you take it out and try to take it off, you're going to be trying to hold that thing while you're trying to break it loose. And they're, they're usually pretty tight because they got, you know, the thread sealing on them. <laughs> Take that off, kind of clean it up. And then one of the other materials you need is uh, some pipe joint compound, thread sealant, or uh, you can use Teflon tape as well. This is a little bit easier and I think it seals better. But Teflon tape is kind of a hassle to deal with sometimes. So we'll set that off to the side. Now we'll go ahead and take the, uh, the bolt out of the bottom. That's a three quarter. And then 
then you can use a deep well socket or you can just put two lock two wrenches together let's use the 15 16 bottom and you'll have unless you bought new ones you'll have to reuse those um, with the one I put on bought on the road um, at Kenworth I just had them I didn't know if I was gonna break one off um, so I just went ahead and since I was there had them go and give me new bolts with it um, for the top and that that big one for the bottom um, one other thing I don't think I mentioned when we started this um, when you start this you're gonna have to make sure you either shut off your air suspension where it evacuates all the air out of the uh, suspension or if you don't have that option, I know when I drove for Snyder as a company driver, their freight liners, they didn't, they had like an auto suspension, so you couldn't manually dump the air out of the suspension. So you'd, at that point, you'd have to bleed your system down to get all that air out of the suspension because you got to have it, you're not with that. They, they can have a lot of pressure. I mean, anywhere from, I think my truck ride, I got a suspension gauge empty. I'm at about 15 PSI. And when I'm at 34,000, I'm right at about 60 psi, so they can have a little, you know, almost as much pressure as a tire. I mean, not not quite 100, but 60 psi is a lot. So, so definitely want to make sure you uh, drain the air out before you start. Now we're going to take the two top bolts off. It's a 9/16 socket for that. And I think these are probably the original airbags on this truck. I'm looking at everything and I'm surprised everything's broken loose so easy. So hopefully I don't... I got one more after this, so hopefully I'm not jinxing myself. <laughs> places I'm losing all my air at because it might this truck would have drained down overnight so that's probably one place where it's going <laughs> then when you put the new one on they won't fit in there like this so you have to there's a little plastic plug you have to pull that out Push it down like that. So I like put the bolt in the bottom in first. And you don't want to tighten this up all the way yet, just kind of get it snug where you can still move this around. And the reason for that is so that you can put the, uh, the bolts in the top because you have to line those up. And then you have to pull this back up. And 
just line those up. Tighten those down. I'll go ahead and tighten up the bottom. Then I'll go ahead and put the fitting back in. So put a little seal it on there. Right where we had it, so I could go and hook the airlines back up. Now, these fittings are brass and these are pretty thin, so you want to be careful when you're tightening these. You don't have to get them, just get them snug and just a little bit more because if you ever tighten it, you can actually you can crack it down at a split and then you know it's going to leak so you don't have to get too carried away with with on these brass fittings so i'd probably say just Till they snug down and maybe quarter turn or so. And that's pretty much it. So I don't know what it take 10, 10, 15 minutes. So I'm, I hate to know what they're charging at the TAs or Kenworth or wherever. So plus you're gonna pay an extra hundred fifty dollars and uh, with the parts. I mean, on just on the part uh, if you go into a dealer or something. So. Uh, Basically the same on the other three. Um, you might have a little bit different uh, setup on the, the fittings. Um, like I know mine, mine has a air pressure gauge in there. So it, on the one I got to change the next, it actually has a little sensor on the on the fitting there. But uh, like I said, no big deal. So. But um, other than that, hope that helps out and have a good one.